I was introduced to anarchist ideas when I was still in high school, although I, I would say that I didn't really become an anarchist until I got into college, when I actually started to read about it and learn, learn about the history and the philosophy. Um, my first activities were in the anti-nuclear and anti-war movements of the late 70s, early 80s, and that was where I was introduced to the ideas of direct action and consensus decision making. And that was when I got my first hints that all was not right with the way people use language and the way certain people adapt or um, maybe, if I want to be less generous, I would say colonialize the struggles of other people. And specifically in, in the anti-nuclear movement, the abuse of the decision-making process of consensus was very palpable, especially to somebody who was new, didn't have a lot of uh, formulated ideas that I could articulate quickly or even slowly, uh, my voice was, uh, I volunteered not to have my voice heard because I was intimidated. So that was my introduction to consensus. But the direct action that, that the anti-nuclear folks were engaged in was something that I enjoyed. And I thought that that was pretty well taken care of and manifested. Then I began to learn more about the history of anarchism and what anarchist direct action means versus what folks on the, on the left or on the, the liberal end of the political spectrum mean when they say direct action. And they're, they're somewhat different.